This is a shave biopsy of a uh, papule, a little bump, on acryl skin. And you can tell it's acryl skin because it's got a, a thick epidermis and a really thick layer of orthokeratin for the corneal layer. Um, and it's a little bump coming from the skin surface. You can see that nice, this nice little swirly thing. Those are called acrosyringia, or acrosyringium is the singular. And that's where the eccrine sweat ducts drain out to the skin surface. So I think those are really pretty. And you can see the little tube going up, uh, up there into the surface. So that's an acrosyringium. And then here in the dermis, we have a proliferation of spindle cells. That's what's causing this little bump. So let's, let's see if we can figure out what those are. Here, they're bland little cells. They've got kind of a pale pink collagen background. See the, the collagen, the normal dermal collagen is that bright pink stuff there. The pink here is much more pale, like a light pink color. And the cells are bland and spindled. Some of them are kind of uh, uh, rounded on one end and pointed on the other end. Kind of like a little sesame seed, like those little seeds you get on your buns at, um, at uh, if you go to a, uh, get a sandwich, a burger or something like that, they have those little seeds, those are sesame seeds. And some of these have like that kind of like a point on one end and a little rounded on the other end. So some people have compared them to sesame seeds. Some of them are spindled and look kind of bent or curved or crooked. Um, sometimes people say that these are wavy, but I don't really, that, that terminology doesn't usually resonate well with me for these. But these are Schwann cells. And the way the Schwann cells are arranged, all sorts of nerve sheath tumors can have Schwann cells, neurofibromas, schwannomas, things like that. But here you can see that they're actually are, these, uh, these cells are actually arranging themselves into little tiny nerve bundles. And see, look, here's a, here's a nerve bundle, here's a nerve bundle, here's another one. There's a bunch of nerve bundles all together, actually. So when you have a bunch of nerve bundles in one place, we often refer to that as a neuroma. And there are several different types of neuromas. But... So you might think, well, this could be a neuroma, like a traumatic neuroma. If you get a surgery or you injure yourself, sometimes the nerves will try to regrow and they'll tangle together and make a little collection like this and we say that they're a neuroma. See, and here, let's look at the other piece. You can see much more clearly, there's kind of the collagen here is really dense, kind of almost scar-like, and then you've just got a, a big tangled bundle of all these nerves, way, way too many nerves for normal skin. You normally have just occasional nerves that are scattered around and not like these big bundles of, of multiple nerves kind of tangled together. And oh, look, that's cute. See that little guy there? That's called uh, Meissner's corpuscle. And they it's like a little, uh, a little uh, ovoid structure made of a bunch of little cells that are kind of stacked together. And if, let's see if I can get it to show up. If you kind of refract the, t if you flip your condenser, sometimes you can see there's kind of like little, little thin layers of pink in the middle of this thing, and it gives this kind of striped appearance that reminds me of like a little Easter egg or something. These are fine touch receptors, and you pretty much only see them on the the volar, the palmar, or plantar surface of acryl skin because they're for fine touch, and that's why they're right up underneath the epidermis so that they can feel the finest little touches there, and that's that's why they give you fine touch, and that's why your your fingers have our fine touch um, uh, receptors. So that's nice. You see, and there, look, there's quite a few of them. There's little Meissner's corpuscle. Oops, sorry, it's a little blurry. Meissner corpuscle. There's another one there. And those are just normal histologic structures, but they're actually important because when you see them, it gives you an idea that you're probably on palm or soul, even if, if no one's told you that. There's another one. And then also we see things that look kind of like Meissner's um, corpuscles in some tumors, particularly diffuse neurofibromas. We'll give you these what we call Wagner-Meissner bodies, and you can see similar structures in a neurotized nevi, and we'll have to talk about those things some other time. But so it's good to, to recognize the normal histology because sometimes tumors try to recapitulate um, what normal histologic structures are. So recognizing all that stuff is important. But anyway, so we have this tangle of nerves and we're on uh, acral skin or we're, we're on the, you know, the, the distal fifth digit. So the, the kind of lateral edge of the pinky. And interestingly, this is, this is a young child, a two-year-old. And look what they had on, that was from the right hand. Now let's look on the, on the left hand in the same exact place. We have something very similar. There was a bump, like a mirror image on the other side, on the, both the right and left hand, on the, the lateral edge of the fifth digit, there was this little bump. And so the dermatologist knew exactly what this was. And the, the family wanted it to re be removed, understandably. So most of you who are savvy to this already have this figured out. This is an accessory digit. This was an, a, an extra little finger that was trying to grow that never quite made it. So a supernumerary digit or an accessory digit, this was like a little, a little sixth finger. Um, and it was very, usually what they do is they just make a little bump or a nub and it has like all of the nerve bundles that would normally innervate the finger. 
kind of get tangled up together. You'll often see Meissner's corpuscles underneath it because it's again, it's trying to make a finger. So a normal finger would need would need Meissner corpuscles and would need nerves. And I've even seen some that are so well developed that they actually have bone and cartilage in the middle. That's pretty uncommon. The vast majority of them look like this. They look like a little neuroma basically. So if you see a bump on acral skin, um, that's kind of fibrous, always look in the dermis. And if you find these nerve bundles, and if you're in the right location, which would be the lateral fifth digit, then you're probably dealing with an accessory digit. And uh, they're almost always bilateral. I, I don't think I've ever seen a case that was not bilateral. I'm sure it's occurred, but I've never seen it. And the dermatologist almost always knows what this is, and they're just removing it for cosmetic reasons for the family. And then see down there, you can see the large nerve bundles kind of feeding into this thing. So really nice example of accessory digit. These are always kind of uh, kind of fun to see. And benign.